So let's say that you just found your old computer. You give it a quick clean because it's really dusty. When you tried to power it on, it turned on, but it wanted you to enter the BIOS password to continue. You attempt to unlock it, but you keep failing. My name is Aspef, and in this video, I will help you bypass the screen. Let's get started. If we were able to guess the BIOS password, then reboot into the BIOS and remove the password. However, for those who weren't able to guess the password, follow what I do. First up, unscrew the screws on your computer. Look on the manufacturer's website to see how to open your computer. By the way, if you are wondering, this computer was featured in its 2010 and you're installing Windows 7. Once you've unscrewed everything, you should see a little circle that looks something like this. This is called a CMOS battery, and we need to remove it. I can't remove the CMOS battery because of the DVD drive, so let's remove that. If you have the same computer, follow what I do. First, you'll see these three little pull tabs. So take your left and your right finger, and then pull it out. If it's not... As you can see here, it was not pulling out because I hadn't applied force of my left hand to this left little pry thing. Now, do not remove this. You see this little triangle? Lift it, lift the computer a little bit, and then take your left hand and remove it. But do not slide it out. As you can see, we have this wire. If we remove it really fast, then this computer will be ren rendered useless. So what do you have to do? and set it aside now we have on this side we have three screws since i did an ssd upgrade on this this only has two screws but yours is if your your computer still is having if your computer still has a hard drive then you'll have three screws so unscrew either two or three screws since i've upgraded this computer the screws are easy to remove but if you haven't opened your computer this far, then these screws might be a little stubborn to remove. Now we have unscrewed everything and we can remove the DVD drive. But wait, this DVD drive has the hard drive underneath it and this is connected to the motherboard. So do not remove it. Do not remove it and just set it aside like this. And if it just keeps moving, then just set it in a position where it doesn't move like this. Once you've done that, you can remove a CMOS battery with your fingernail or a flat-end screwdriver. Do not use these plus-ended screwdrivers. So this right here is the CMOS battery. And it should look like, like a circle. This is like Sierra 2022. I actually replaced the CMOS battery on this recently. So that's why it says Amazon Basics on it. Otherwise, it came with like an Acer CMOS battery. An Acer branded one. So you see this little trapezoid here. Sorry for the lot of movement. I'm recording this with my left hand. So, push this in, take your flattened screwdriver, and then push this trapezoid in. And then the CMOS battery should pop out. And then you could either remove it with your hand or the screwdriver. I prefer you, with, you remove it with your hand. And as you can see, it kind of got stuck in between the motherboard. So, now, once you've got the CMOS battery out, you put it down, and then you face it this way. So, it's not this way, this way on like the table you're working on and then set a five minute timer either on your phone or your computer now putting back in the cmos battery is fairly easy you just take the cmos battery and wherever this was you just slide it in so, so not like so you see this is like facing upwards so take the cmos battery in like this and then you push it down and once you hear a click in place i mean the cmos battery is it has been connected to the computer and then reassemble the computer and then connect all wires and then you should hopefully not see the BIOS password screen when you power it on. So I just finished connecting all wires on the computer. So let me just move the microphone so you can hear the computer powering on. You, I don't know if you heard this or not, but the computer did two very silent-ish beeps. That, if you don't know what that means, that basically means that 
the that the CMOS values have been reset and I have to go into the BIOS and change the values. So as you can see here we didn't get a BIOS password screen, which is a good thing. That means that the password has been reset. So let's just let it boot and then I'll restart the computer. So we're booting to Windows 7 now because that was the operating system that I installed in the last video. So you can see here it's working. Let me just launch Winver. So you can see here, Windows 7 Ultimate. Now let's restart the thing. Um, shut down. Oh wait, not shut down. Anyways, I have to restart. You can see here, no BIOS password screen. It's working. It's booting up. And this time it didn't do the two beeps because I, it only does it like once every three times you power it on. And the fan settings must have been reset because the fans are actually going really loud. So there's that. And the idea to make more voiceover videos was suggested by the Windows Hero. I'll link his channel in the description. And if this helped you, give it a thumbs up. And, and as always, thanks for watching.